Let's play this thing we've never seen before in our entire life. Has fast food gotten healthier? Absolutely. Has fast food truly turned a corner? Yeah, right. Come on. Uh, Shut up. Absolutely. The, everyone he interviewed, every single person he interviewed said, yes, absolutely. Whoa. Play. Out. I could go back on an all-fast food diet. Oh, boy. But something tells me this calls for a different approach. I like this. He I has been doing out. other stuff for a while. Mm-hmm. But the people, like, the, the, the people have spoken. They say, Morgan... We need you back in the game. He could go back on an all fast food diet, and what he showed is some clips from this. So this movie called Super Size Me Two. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. There's a Super Size Me One. And when I initially saw him, the very first shot, I thought, "Wow, it has been a while. He's really aged." But when he showed the clips from the old movie, I thought, "You know what? No, he did always sort of look like look this. like exactly like this." And that movie, he looked a little too was, old. I want to say 15 years ago. Yeah. He looked a little too old for how old he was in that movie. And now he actually, I guess, looks his age mm -hmm. or slightly younger. And this is going to set off a chain reaction. I saw the friggin' Doug Benson signal in the sky last night. Oh, no. Super it, high me, super too. Super high me, too. Oh, no. Has weed really gotten... Um, uh... <laughs> Um. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sweet restaurant. You're yeah. crazy. Yeah. Tell me what kind of food the most Bobbert eaten animal on the planet is in it. Chicken. Chicken. If I can have the farm that brings the chickens to the restaurant. That's a good story. Go forth and find your chickens. Wait, wait, stop it. That's an unbelievable story. If I can have, can have the, the farm, farm that brings the chicken to the restaurant. Yeah, that's a good story. Okay, understatement much? <laughs> that's an unbelievable story. It has all the elements of story. I mean, it's Joseph Campbell. <laughs> it's Joseph Campbell. Hero of a Thousand Faces. Yes. If he can be the man who has the farm that brings the chicken to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most incredible story of all time. It's a big if, though. Yeah, you think? Can he pull this off? A story like that. I am your chicken father. That is a lot of chickens. <laughs> My free range, cage free, no hormones added, humanely raised, natural chickens can get the USDA's seal of approval. He's Sounds making amazing. the chicken. He's, he is, they don't show him obviously impregnating any chickens or anything like mm -hmm. that. But the way he's and acting. being, my understanding from the reviews is he's doing both. He's both fertilizing other chickens and his own eggs are being fertilized. Mm. And he is laying the eggs he's, and yeah. seeding them. Obviously, it's pretty graphic for a trailer. This has to play on television and stuff. But he is, I guess, sitting in a nest in a coop and he is dropping eggs. Okay. Until you start to realize how much of that is labeling. What's the smallest space we could give them that would still be quantified as free range? Free range. Okay. Well, and it was like a whoa. it was a pretty small space. Yeah. It, it was like so what he has is this space that's not very big. Mm -hmm. And he's going, this is free range. So I like uh that he's proving he can put a chicken in inhumane conditions. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he could do it. That's a hell of a story. He used, I want to say, he did also use a pretty small chicken. He did. The effect of putting a big chicken in there I might could guess, have been even more shocking. If it was a huge chicken, and what my guess is, is that legally, he probably could have put two chickens. Probably. And said, oh, they're both free range. Mm -hmm. That really could have been shocking to me. Chilling. I will say also, is he allowed to be standing in there as well? He was standing in the space, which yeah. made it a lot less area for the chicken, even a small chicken like that, to be free range. Is that allowed for yeah. Morgan Spurlock to be in there? The USDA says that, that there's a certain amount of space for that a chicken has to run around with Morgan Spurlock in there? If they do... 
If they do think it's okay for Morgan Spurlock to be in the range of the free range chicken. <laughs> that's our government? That's a hell of a story. Fluorescent lit restaurant. Everywhere you touch is just greasy and sticky. It's like somebody cleaning the grill with like cleaning solvent. Oh, research is what this is. Fluorescent Welcome lit to- restaurant. Chicken corporate training. Woo! They've been health washing the dirty, unhealthy truth. Fresh green herbs give a health halo. The term fried has evolved to crispy. Artificial grill marks. You can paint them on with dark food coloring. How healthy are our sandwiches? <laughs> I think I think that answers my question. Huh, what if okay, there was a- pause it. She was laughing her <laughs> fucking ass off when he asked how healthy the sandwiches are. And I think that answers I our question. I have been chasing a laugh like that in my whole career. That's why I got into the biz. And I sometimes and all I had to do was ask the woman how healthy my sandwich was. Well, I sometimes wonder. I've obviously never gotten that laugh, but could Sporgan Murlock have gotten the laugh <laughs> if I had just stayed true to myself? Uh-huh. Would I have earned a laugh like that? Mm-hmm. Because this guy's just being him. I mean, that's what's so good about these documentaries is it's just a guy being himself. I So I question, at the time, when you were Sporgan Murlock, you were also doing health, like di- like food expose. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yes. uh, your documentary about how this one orange yeah. Was actually bad for you. Yes. Not all of them. So I'm eating the same orange for 30 days. <laughs> and what we find is it starts out being somewhat healthy, but as it gets <laughs> rolled in the dirt, kept in a barrel of yeah, sludge. Yeah, so like you can sort of see when you made it off, like just off camera, uh, you are making it look nasty and dirty. I keep it in a barrel of sludge all night while I sleep. And then when I take it out, I sometimes will um, put worms in it and that sort of thing. And I eat it one third of a slice at a time. Mm -hmm. And then I eat the peel. And it does start to affect my health. I'm also not eating anything else. And it does start to affect my health throughout the course of the documentary. But, like, the idea being... You did effectively sort of expose and shed light on the dangers of of this one orange. Yeah. But no, do not eat that orange. But now I stand by that. But but the end of it is gone. Like for other people, there is the orange. You ate it. Unlike what this clown does, which is he goes like, nobody eat the burgers. And then the burgers are still out there and everyone is eating them. Right. When I do it, I go, hey, nobody eat this. And people go like, whoa, thank you. Because I got rid of it. So I actually solved something with mine. I'm not just chasing a laugh how healthy is our sandwich. Them painting the grill marks on seems like more work than grilling. Than actually just <laughs> grilling it. They're doing it in a very like painstaking. It's like, like Marwin call or something. <laughs> <laughs> they, they've got like these tiny tools. Yeah. And it's sort of lovingly. Uh, just the cost of paint compared to. Fire, yeah, fire is so cheap, yeah, especially in a restaurant. A lot of times it's already there, the hot grill, whereas all the tools they're using for the paint aren't okay. Company that was completely honest with their customers. Well, why would they do that? Oh boy, are people actually she has a problem with her ethics? She doesn't understand why the company would be honest with the customer. This woman. The whole movie should be about her. This sick freak. And now she's been exposed. He's blowing up the entire system. Okay. For a 100% honest food experience. Holy chicken. Holy oh, chicken. You can actually Ew. put it on like a mitt. You should not be able to do this with a chicken sandwich. Oh, wow. And he... Fuck, man. So he's fingering the he's sandwich. finger husk. blasted a chicken. He puts it on his hand. He's got to do something gross. One thing that people liked about Super Size Me is he threw up, yep. and he's kind of going like, I don't want to throw up again, but can I do something gross? So he is being gross with the chicken sandwich. Wow. 
It's public domain, it says, already. Also, I, I guess it's, to me, it's a little bit faulty. Like, I get what he's saying, but it's like, he kind of takes the breading off the chicken sandwich. It's all one piece. He puts his fingers in it and he goes like, you should not be able to do that with a chicken sandwich. It's like, I get, why not? <laughs> There's certainly a better version of it, but it's not like that shouldn't happen. It's like, no, I mean, yeah, I guess why not? <laughs> What's wrong with your computer, Kevin? Kevin, you can't I, get in your Gmail. I'm, and, try, I'm trying to pull up listener questions because we got a few minutes to. Kill. Okay, what's the in here? Oh, Kevin why? got veggie Personal grill email. last night. Personal his email. Bo- his oh, billing statement Kevin is available for his new car, oh, his Toyota car. And I'll give you guys a, a veggie grill related. Um, joke from workaholics that never quite played because it was completely dependent on pronunciation Mm. and there's a point where the character montez has um gone vegetarian and he goes man i used to be like oh hell kale but now i'm like all hail kale <laughs> which is the name of that's the name of a veggie grill a veggie salad, grill the salad. All hail that's kale. why i always get there yeah the all hail kale is good it's what do you get on it for your protein Buffalo wings. I get a full side of buffalo. Oh, you do. Wings and I get then chop them up and put those in there. I get the black and temp it. Uh, it's very sweet. It has they pour sugar all over it, and so I, I can do it too. It's a little too sweet. I can do the Morgan Spurlock movie as well. The about it is anything too sweet. The dressing that's on the all hail kale. I used to be like all oh, hail kale, but now I'm like all oh, hail kale. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying Montez couldn't pull it off. I'm just saying that in the final version of the episode, I think he could, but it's just in making them sound similar. Yeah. I think they ended up sounding a little too close, at least in the take that he used. So Even that, when you were saying you them, don't they, they know. sounded pretty close. Yeah. If you if you have the shorthand for the salad, that's a different story. Okay. He's loading you up the Gmail again. He's loading up the Gmail I got again. My finger on the X in case this goes to. Uh, personal again why does your gmail take so long i think the uh, internet's having some the issues. internet's fucked up here mm. any okay so i i have a and question it sucks you have a question hi sweeties we are a pair of very good friends who are embarking on a creative partnership together we're very excited about it but we're also a little nervous don't how do it <laughs> working together on creative projects could impact don't. our friendship it does <laughs> we were wondering if you had any tips for navigating the dynamics of being someone's friend versus being their work partner. Stop before you start. <laughs> do not do it. If you value your friendship, get out now. You stop knowing whether you like someone or if you are <laughs> just handcuffed to them for the rest of your life. If your brain is like, well, we have to like this person. You can't differentiate between the professional and personal (laughs) moments in your relationship. It's all one big mush. And especially when the professional part is basically the same. It's the same shit. Personal part. It's the same shit. And Kevin's there for a lot of both. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And it You um, gotta friggin' spin the inception thing. And you gotta the, spin the thing to know which one you're in. But that's the same too. And if there's anything you don't like about each other, it will be blown up to three hundred times its original size. <laughs> put under a magnifying glass and also will bleed into, if it's something you don't like about them just on the pressure side, we're just like, well, don't do this. And then that in your personal uh, relationship with them, you also will notice it all the time. And then you're completely fucked. I have not enjoyed my time. <laughs> With Hayes for six years. (laughs) (laughs) But you have to, no one's as good at like making it 
work. Like we've seen him come and go. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, his is my best friend. These other friends, I, all other best friends, we've seen him come and go. Best and that's friends the truth. Have and I come am, and, and I am saying the truth. We've seen a lot of best friends come and go. Uh, and they show up here, arm in arm, skipping into the freaking studio. Mm-hmm. And, I and say, they walk out. Uh, 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 yes, one record. No. Two separate cars out of the record. One car in, two cars out. <laughs> <laughs> we started this relationship in a Mexican standoff. Mm-hmm. And we've never stopped circling each other. You would think for a two-person Mexican standoff that you would only need one gun Mm. because it's just excessive to be like pointing two guns each Mm -hmm. and just at one other person. Uh Uh-uh. It's feel that. Sure do. Is that your left hand? <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> it's cool. Yep. So we're doubled up. Um, so don't, yeah, don't try. Don't do it. And if you do it, communicate effectively. What has worked for Hayes and I is once every nine months. <laughs> I think it's more than that. Well, no, it's once every... I'm going to say 13 months. Once every 13 months. So it's over a year. Once every yes. 13 months, we completely destroy each other. <laughs> and then we slowly recover and put back the pieces. It's not that slow. It's pretty quick. You know what? We immediately recover... 85% of the way. I would even say higher 90. than that. Yes, 90. Let's say this. We immediately recovered 95% of the way. Yes. And then the 5% comes back one piece at a time over the next month. Okay. And wait, and then we and then we're at 90. No, I said 95%. Oh, 95 and then the 5%. We're at 95% right. immediately. Like, say it's like, hey, it's like it, hey, it's like it never happened. But there's a little bit of like, but it did happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah. And that's better. I mean, everyone else, oh, they would pray for 13 months. They'd love Kevin to knows. have it. They'd mm-hmm. love to have 13 months and then, of course, and then explosion. 95% reclamation immediately. Oh my God. Yeah, it's like kill. it's within hours. Yes. I mean, it's within hours that it's like, hey, man, that was crazy. I only meant part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, are we good? We're good. Bye. Oh. <laughs>